Hey guys, my name is Hannah Kossoff and today I'm like so excited because I am going to be going through the pros and cons of FIU. No, okay, listen, I know that I've been doing a lot of FIU videos for a while, but I thought this one was super important because um, I get a lot of questions about it on Instagram and a lot of comments and I, I truly believe that it's super important for everyone to know the negatives and the positive of the university before they get in because literally no university is perfect. And honestly, I'm like the person that tells the brutal truth. I'm not the type of person to be like BS and stuff like that and sometimes I'm a little bit too honest online um, and I'm gonna be so I'm gonna be telling you like my real experience um, what other people experience and also like using some statistics and stuff that I grabbed online so um, yeah let's just go ahead and uh, get started okay so the first thing that I'm gonna go over is kind of like the presentation of the campus um, and this is a pro so um, literally I'm gonna kind of like say my perspective of what I've experienced when I first went to FIU for my orientation I think I was like 16 or 17 I don't really remember but it was like the only campus that I toured that I actually thought looked beautiful you know what I mean I, I know it sounds like kind of dramatic because like I literally toured um, USF because I live in Tampa FSU because my sister goes there um, FGCU because I heard it was nice and FAU because it was in a cool environment you know um, all of them I don't know they didn't really catch my eye I thought either the buildings all looked the same or it just looked kind of like run down you know what I mean um, and so I, I was like a little bit disappointed. I was like, wow, these like college campuses, like they don't look that aesthetic, you know? But when I came here for the first time, me and my dad were kind of like, okay, wow, all the buildings look pretty different from each other. Like there were like a lot of usage of glass and like artwork installed in like different areas. So it was very like modern. It didn't look like um, a school for like um, old religious people. You know what I mean? It was very like innovative and very like creative. Like um, my grandpa's an architect and he he would probably like that sort of contemporary sort of style. So I, I really just thought that the presentation and the architecture and the setup of the school was just so beautiful, like aesthetically pleasing. Like it, it was kind of like, dang, like I want to go here. You know what I mean? Like when I saw it for the first time, because um, honestly, if you're living in a place, um, you, you at least want to live in a place that you think looks nice. Do you know what, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's um, one pro. Oh, and now I'm gonna go over a con. So one of the cons that I came, well, this is a con for me. I don't know if it's a con for someone else, but it's like way too hot there. Like I, I cannot deal with the heat. Like um, I'm, from, I'm a native from Florida. You know what I mean? I only live like four hours north, you know? But um, I, I, it's so hot in Miami. I feel like it's like, it's humid hot. You know what I mean? Like humid hot. Um, and uh, I don't know. I can't really deal with that weather. If I'm being honest, I really like seasons. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like a con for me, but I don't know my roommate. She's freaking crazy. She literally thought she liked the weather because she's from New York. And I was like, dude, how do you like it? You know? So it's like kind of like something for everyone. But for me, that's like a con. Cause like, I love seasons, you know? Um, so the third thing that I'm going to review is, um, kind of like the type of people that it attracts. I would kind of put this in a, a pro. It's different places attract different kind of people. You know what I mean? Like, um, I feel like every single university has like a type, but the thing that I love about FIU is that there isn't really a type. You know what I mean? Like either like they're, um, like people can either be very like, snooty or very like um, homogenous or very like um, you know like all those sort of stereotypes my stereotype of it was like international and open this is like the first time in my life where I've lived in an environment where there's people from all over the globe okay so like in my dorm and stuff like that like the students that live there are literally from all across the world like I've met so many people from China Japan like Vietnam um, France um, Russia like Poland there's like so many different kinds of people there and there's so many different languages um, and honestly like but it doesn't give off an American vibe you know like um, I guess there's a lot of people that really like American vibes, like, oh, you know, uh, like, hot dogs. <laughs> no, that's not, what the fuck is that? That doesn't even mean American vibes. <laughs> yeah, like that sort of thing. I don't know what I'm thinking about. You know what I mean, like the American vibe. But this place doesn't really give off the American vibe because when you walk outside, you literally will always hear people speaking freaking like Russian because they're from like Ka Kazakhstan or something, you know? 
Um, and actually because of that, there's so many people from Europe, there's like a kind of a, uh, oh my God, there might be a little bit of a cigarette culture because of that, you know? Like, cause when I lived in Europe, like everyone was always like smoking a cig, you know? And I guess since there's like, dude, like only Europeans like smoke cigs because, um, Americans, they kind of think that's trashy, you know, like um, they think that's like from Walmart, you know, but like, I don't know, like you could kind of tell that there is like, you know, that sort of um, international, um, around the world, multiple language sort of environment. And I think because of that, people are attracted, people, like the type of people that are attracted to this type of school are kind of um, into meeting different kinds of people. And I think that if people are willing to live in an environment where they deal with people with different um, backgrounds and perspectives, I feel like those kind of people are naturally a little bit more um, open and flexible and um, maybe a little bit more um, empathetic towards others. Not all the time, okay? I'm sure there are assholes that go to this university too, but I'm just saying in the general, you know? Because, um, like, seriously, seriously, like, I've really like, I, I always find it super hard to make friends. <laughs> like I'm dead serious. Like I really find it hard to make friends. But when I came to FIU, I think the reason why I actually had a decent time making friends was because uh, probably because like people there are more used to um, dealing with international students and probably speaking a couple of languages, you know? So um, it, I think it changes, it makes, it gives them like a more open perspective and stuff. So people are more used to mingling with others and trying new things, you know? One of the cons is the reputation. Um, since, actually, yeah, now that I think about it, I didn't even know that, I didn't really know about FIU before I had to go down to Miami because I was gonna do this visa thing for my exchange year. Um, but yeah, I really didn't know about the school. Nobody from my school in high school is going there. Um, and uh, I, I really like haven't heard a lot about it until like I looked it up. Like, I just did research, like, oh, schools in Miami, and this one kind of, like, popped up, and I was like, mm, okay, I'll go check it out, it looks pretty cool, you know, and I, a good thing, I was like, I really liked it, but I was looking it up online, like, I didn't really find, like, a lot of stuff about it, and I think that's super lame, because, um, I think it's a little underrated, you know what I mean, like, the, if you tell people, oh, you go to FIU, they'll be like, what, where is that, and you have to be like, oh, it's in Miami, and, you know, or if you say, oh, I go to school in Miami, they'll automatically think of UM, you know, so, um, yeah, the reputation is really small, but I actually think that it's getting a bit bigger. Um, and honestly, I think that it's like super, I think it's an underrated campus. So, um, let's go over a pro now. Um, so one pro is the location. Um, for me, for my whole life, I always knew that I was like very in, I always wanted to live in a city. Always, always, always. Like I, I did not want to live in a small town in the middle of nowhere with the same people. Like I wanted to go somewhere where there was like art. Like I wanted to go somewhere where there was like things to do when like, you know, culture and all this stuff. It, and also I already had Florida prepaid. So it was kind of like set and done that I needed to go somewhere in Florida. Um, and so every single college I went to um, other than FIU was kind of like in a smallish town. You know, um, and so for my whole life, like I always knew that like, dude, I want to like live in a place where there are like skyscrapers and there are like famous people that come by and there is like, you know, um, new things all the time and all this music and blah, blah, blah. There's like literally something for everyone there. There's like so many cool exhibits. There's like so many cool museums. There's like so many concerts and like music and like stores and like things, all this stuff, you know, um, there's literally something thing for like everyone because it, it is a city you know what I mean and when you go to a more industrialized place generally they do tend to have a lot more um, art and attractions you know um, and also another thing that I really liked about it is that um, if you're not really a city person there is like the beach you know what I mean there's the Everglades there's really like there could be there's something for everyone you know um, but yeah if you want to go somewhere in Florida where there's definitely like um, that urban, contemporary, you know, city vibe. Um, that's diverse, you know. If you're not really into the small town college thing, uh, definitely consider uh, going here. Um, okay, so with that, there's some cons. Okay, so one of the things about Miami is that it's pretty expensive. Um, so honestly, like the rent, 
the rent. I cannot, dude, finding a cheap apartment here is like so, oh my gosh, like literally, like I thought, before I came here, I was like, ah, it's in Florida, Florida's cheap, you know? But I'm like, dude, Miami is so expensive. Like, it's, it's more expensive than Tampa for sure. I'm not gonna give you specific numbers because I don't really know how much it is, but it, you know, just like any other city, it's more expensive. Something about that I like about it though is that it's a very big school. Um, okay, it's for some people this could be a negative, but for me this is positive because I always, when I feel when I go to like small schools, sometimes like if I be honest, sometimes I feel <laughs> if I be honest, I can't even speak English right now. If I'm honest, sometimes I kind of feel like I'm trapped. Like it's always the same type of people. It's always like a little close-minded, you know. Like there's a type. It kind of starts feeling like high school again, you know. But um, when I go, when I went. When I go to Miami, I would say it's a fairly big school, like, um, pretty big, like, seriously, like, they almost have, like, not just big student-wise, but also degree-wise, like, I was doing, like, some research, and they almost have, like, 200 degrees there, that is freaking crazy, and then, like, they have, like, over 50,000 students, like, over 50,000, like, dude, that's insane, and I think it's growing, um, they're always, like, building, like, new stuff there, and so, really, if if you don't think that you could find friends there or if you don't think that uh, you're not gonna fit in or anything or you're not gonna meet people, that's like literally impossible. You know what I mean? Because the bigger the school is generally, the more variety of people that are gonna be there. So you're definitely gonna find someone and it gives you a, like a really big exposure to all these people from different cultures and backgrounds, you know, which I totally love. Okay, so this is like literally the most pettiest one, but literally the, ugh, the cafeteria food. Okay, like literally I cannot, ugh, the cafeteria food, I don't know, just like, it's not really it. Every single cafeteria food in every college sucks though. So I don't think this is like even any a surprise, but like, I don't know, I just don't like it. You know what I mean? Like literally on my comments, and I always talk about the cafeteria food. Like I can't eat at cafeteria food. I always do my own cooking. But some of the pros though, is that you don't have to eat in the cafeteria. Um, what I like about the school is that um, you, if you have to get a meal plan, you could like use dining dollars and you could go to like the local markets and grocery stores or individual like restaurants and they have like several like restaurants scattered around um, campus. Like they have like Chick-fil-A and Panda Express and like Chili's and all that stuff, you know? Um, and so even, they even like have a sushi place and like cafes and stuff. Um, so you don't have to use your, um, what's it called? You don't have to use your meal plan only on the cafeteria food. You could use it on the multiple um, places to eat around campus. And honestly, yeah, the places to eat around campus like are not bad. Okay, so they have three campuses, which I think is really cool because if you're not really into one campus, you could change to another um, or, you know, it, vice versa. There is the Modesto campus or MMC campus, which is the one that I live in. It's like kind of like the main campus, you know? Um, there's FIU I-75. Um, I've been there before to take one class, my African studies class. Um, and then there's the Biscayne Bay campus, which is like in the downtown contemporary side of Miami. Um, so I think that is pretty cool that they have like many different like campuses, like all around. The, the, the area um, because as a person that really likes being flexible and you know going to new places I think that it's pretty cool you know so if one thing doesn't work or you know you could go to another who knows for me school has always been kind of like something I haven't really looked forward to like I always thought it was hard to make friends and I wasn't really happy there and like I have some trauma from it you know but like if I'm being honest, like, I actually really do think that FIU, like, treated me pretty well, you know? I'm not trying to say it's like, oh my god, it's, like, perfect, you know? Nothing is perfect. Oh, I'm not gonna be telling my subscribers, oh, come here if I don't like it, you know? Like, it's kind of, like, the first time in my life where I feel like I kind of do fit in a place. Um, and I just feel super comfortable there. And, um, so... I really hope that this sort of video kind of like helped you guys like gain your perspective about FIU. Um, if you guys have any questions, please, please, please leave it down on the comments below. Um, and also please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a really small platform, but I'm trying to get up there. So for every single subscriber that helped me out, you guys mean so much to me. Um, 
I mean, if you guys like this kind of content, hit the notification bell down below because I am posting every single Tuesday. Um, and if you want to contact me or just DM me any questions about the campus or anything, just DM me. Like seriously, my Instagram is literally my name. It's just Hana Kossoff, you know? So it's down there, the link is down there. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, I really hope that you like this video and I hope it helps. So see you next time, bye.